I think in terms of the biggest long-term impact, healthcare, without question, the you know, opportunity to, to continuously monitor, to get healthcare out of a hospital, out of a GP's office and into people's homes is the area that without question, wearables can have the biggest impact. Whether it'll happen quickly or not is another issue, but long-term impact, it's healthcare. I think fundamentally there are ethical and regulatory issues that will slow uptake. And I think ethical is the most important one of all of these. Fundamentally data about our own healthcare uh, provides an opportunity but also a level of risk that just isn't there in terms of consumer data or banking data. If somebody knows what I'm buying, if somebody knows what I'm, what, what's in my bank account, um, yes, there's a risk that I could lose something but it's quantifiable, it's reversible, I can take out insurance, I can restock my bank account. If somebody knows what health problems I have, there's a perception that they could do something to me that can't be reversed. The basic example that we use sometimes is somewhat facetious. It's uh, regarding epilepsy, in fact. And if somebody knows that I have epilepsy and I live at a certain address, uh, the risk, the perceived risk, is that somebody can come and try and a strobe light through my front window. Uh, and again, in the extreme case, I fall down, hit my head, and, and I pass away. That's not something that we can assure against, and that's not something we can reverse. So once we overcome concerns about data security, I think that's going to be when healthcare really starts to be taken up. I think the key, as it is in consumer um, wearables, is articulating to the people who are going to wear them what they get from it. Uh, we had some great examples today about air quality, about health quality, and uh, the simple idea that the reason a wearable is being uh, given or offered to a set of employees is because their life will be better because of it, and as a result, they work better. Uh, that's a very big difference to the perception uh, in a big brother sense that a wearable is being given so that people can look over your shoulder, such that employers can make decisions about whether you'll be hired or fired on the basis of wearables. And I think really making sure that an employer uh, is seeing the problem from an employee's point of view is going to be the key.